27 months after this day, Chris was diagnosed with brain cancer. I found out I worked in New York, and I get this email from Brogan. Many of us in here got the same email. And it was, I couldn't, I, I, I just didn't know what to say. I didn't know whether I should call Chris or, or what to do. The email said, basically, the majority of these people have six to nine months to live. Her, her, her expression was exactly the same as you. She said, we're going to be the exception. And so I'm reading this email, and I close it, and do I call Chris? What do I say to him? So I went to lunch, I came back, I read the email again, and I get a phone call. And I asked my assistant, I said, who is it? And she comes back, she's like, he says it's Lance Armstrong. <laughs> and I'm like, I pick the phone, it's Chris. He's like, hey man, what's up? Are you serious? Like he has, unbelievable, he has this way of, of making people feel normal around him. In this difficult situation. When Chris has this surgery, they removed 98 percent of, of his tumor. He has chemotherapy. He has radiation. He has chemotherapy again. He has radiation again. And over the 16 months of him going through this, the passion for his sport of the cross never died. Chris comes up with this idea that he's gonna, sorry, that he's gonna go and play for Team Canada again. Chris has won a world championship, won multiple silver medals, he's two-time all-world goaltender. He had accomplished everything, everything in the sport of lacrosse. Why would he ever consider going back and playing again? Passion has a strange way of trumping logic. He goes back, he, he travels, he skips around in chemotherapy, flies across the pond to play for Team Canada. And he wasn't playing for another enemy. He was all world again, yes, but he wasn't playing because of that. He was playing for, for me, he was playing for you guys, he was playing for all these people that are diagnosed with cancer all around the world. He was playing to show them that it can't take away the things that you love. 